In this video, we're gonna be going through how they like to ask questions on cumulative frequency graphs in your Statistics 1 final examination. And in this worksheet, I have extracted many past exam questions when they have asked on the cumulative frequency graphs. And what they usually like to do is they usually give you a table of frequencies or cumulative frequencies. They like you to plot the cumulative frequency graph and then find certain values from that. It could be standard deviation, mean, or other values. Um, but you have all of these past exams here and the extracted uh, answers as well for you so you can get a great idea of how they ask on the cumulative frequency graphs. Okay, so let's do an example. We have a table here with rainfall uh, in X for X millimeters and the cumulative frequency as well. And it's for the rainfall of a certain village over 250 consecutive days. And basically what it wants you to do, first of all, is to draw a cumulative frequency graph to illustrate the data. And I did that beforehand to save time. And all you do as well is you just plot these values because, you know, it's up 20 is 52. So we have at 20, you plot the point 52. And 94, you plot the point 30. And you plot all those and then you draw a line through it and you get your cumulative frequency graph. And so that should be pretty straightforward. And then from there, what you do is you want to calculate, want you to calculate on a hundred of the days the rainfall was k millimeters or more. Use your graph to estimate the value of k. Or if it, if it was on a hundred of the days it was k millimeters or more, that means we have to look at the top 100 days of the cumulative frequency graph, which will be from 150 to 250. So for k or more, we need to look at the 150 value. So at 150, we just look at our graph here. And so it hits here. We go down we look at that well that occurs at 42 at this point it's 42 so we can say our k value equals 42 so that's just reading off the graph the top 100 days and then like a lot of these it asks you to estimate the mean and standard deviation uh, of the daily rainfall in the village so it wants you to find the mean of x well what you do is you go to your formula table and you have uh, this formula for group data which is this, this is group data, right? And so it says it's the sum of xf over the sum of f. Well, the sum of all the frequencies for this case is the 250 consecutive days. And so, and then the sum of the xf, well, we need to find the actual frequencies for these intervals. Remember, these are the cumulative frequencies. So, you know, it's like adding up. So we have 52 for the first interval. And then, so let's look at these frequencies. So we have 52 for the first interval, and then from 20 to 30, well, we go from 52 to 94, so we do 94 minus 52. So that means that 42 times it occurs, 42 times there is a recorded uh, daily rainfall of between 20 and 30 millimeters. And then for the next one would be 142 minus 94, so the next frequency would be 48, and then between 50 and 40, between 40 and 50, you do 172 minus uh, 142. That's 30. So these are the frequencies, right? And you can see that you know 52 plus 42 is 94. 94 plus um, 48 is 142. You know the, the cumulative frequencies is those frequencies being added up. Um, so then between 50 and 70, well we do 222 uh, minus 172. So that's 50, and then the last one between 70 and 100 uh, is 250 minus 222, so it's 28. Okay, so then, just like we did for the previous video and the histograms, let's uh, calculate this. Well, the x values is going to be the middle of these intervals. So between 0 and 20, the interval, we have a frequency of 52, but the middle will be 10. So the first one will be 10 times 52 plus the next one, the middle between 20 and 30 interval, well, that happens 42 times. So the first 42 times the middle will be 25. So you got 25 times 52, or 42, I think. Yep, 42. You know, and you just continue to do this. So between 30 and 40 will be 35, and then that occurs 48 times frequency. 
So you got 35 times 48 plus 45 times 30, 45 times 30 plus uh, between 15 and 60 is 60 times 50. And you get the idea, 60 times 50 plus the final one will be between 70 and 100 is what, 85 is the middle. So it'll be 85 times 28. 85 times 28. And then if you plug, and then you divide all of that by 250 and you put all that into your calculator, I did it before, you'll get 39.9. So that's your average or your mean um, daily rainfall in the village. And then if you wanted to find your standard deviation, well that's going to be equal to, if we look at our table, is this here. So it's equal to the sum of those middle middle interval values times the frequency over n, which is our 250 minus our mean squared, and that whole thing square rooted. Well, this is just, you know, this exact same thing, but with all of these values, these x values squared. So what you do is you calculate that, put it into there, and then you minus this squared which would be minus 39.9 squared, and then you square the whole thing. And I did that before as well, and you get 23.2. Cool, so that's that question. Uh, good cumulative frequency question done. Um, that's it from me. Please uh, hit that like button for me, and if you like my content and find it valuable, please consider subscribing. But I'll see you in the next video.